ladies and gentlemen, Nate Bargesi. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. It's very exciting. Uh, it's crazy. I'm as, look, if you're at home, I'm as shocked as you are that I'm here. So uh, it's, you know, I've come to this building for a long time, and so it's unreal to be here at this, at this Saturday Night Live, which is crazy. It's all right there. Uh, I, uh, my name is Neighbor Getsy. I'm from Tennessee. I, uh, yeah, I'm also, I'm from the 1900s. <laughs> and, uh, I just think you gotta say it. Like, the world is so future now, and I feel in the way of it. <laughs> hotels, hotels are futuristic. Like, you go, like, I'm, you take a shower, the shower's enclosed, but now a lot of hotels have half a glass and water gets on the floor. <laughs> and that's the future. That's what the future, that's what they want. And, you know, I would like a whole glass. They do have a glass because I'm still alive, so they're like, they don't want to hear me going, like, where's the glass at? So they do half a glass, and then the future, the floors are always wet. Every floor. I mean, I think my, I'm 44. My daughter's 11. When she's my age, it will be 2057. I don't even believe that's a real year. My movies didn't go that high in fake years. How am I gonna talk to someone from 2057? I have more in common with a pilgrim. <laughs> I, saw, I saw too much old timey stuff. That's, I'm pre-internet. I mean, I would go, we go to uh, a county fair, Wilson County Fair, and uh, this is in Tennessee, if you're wondering. And we would go there, uh, fairs, I don't know how they're still open, but they, I don't think the government knows about them. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, we ride these rides that were on the interstate an hour ago. Uh, <laughs> so my dad, my dad is a magician, if you don't know, and we would go watch him perform. Uh, this is the 80s, so we'd go watch him. My dad's doing magic. Right next to him, they had donkeys jumping off a high dive into a pool. <laughs> so pretty tough to keep people's attention. When my dad is like, is this your card? And everybody's like, hold on, this donkey's about to jump off this high dive. That's something you don't think you want to see until it's up there. And... I used, look, I used the word jump very loosely. Uh, yeah, these donkeys are falling off this high dive, but... Can't put that on the sign, you know? Um, you gonna watch a donkey fall off a high dive? You're like, no. What if he jumped? Well, at least he's into it. <laughs> Just so you know, PETA, uh, shut that down. And yeah, and that was one everybody was like, we get that one. Uh, <laughs> There is another one PETA had to shut down. Uh, so this is also in the 80s. Pre-internet. Uh, you could fight an orangutan. You could fist fight an orangutan. <laughs> this was offered. <laughs> we didn't have a lot going on. This is what we had to do. And so orangutan would be in a boxing ring with boxing gloves on, and it would stand like this. And then a guy would pay $5. It wasn't for free. <laughs> you would pay... And then he'd go in there, and this orangutan would just knock this dude out. Uh, because we didn't have the internet to look up how strong's an orangutan. So, yeah, it was, you know, it was all word of mouth back then. Uh, you had to meet a guy that just fought an orangutan. And you're like, are they strong? You're like, yeah, dude. Like, I, but the arms are skinny. I know. That's what I thought as well. That strength comes from somewhere. <laughs> Look, if you think I'm old, there's people older, older than me still around. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy.
It's crazy, walking around. People from the 30s. My great aunt Helen, from the 30s, she's deaf. They didn't know she was deaf until she was nine years old. That's how long it took them to figure it. Deaf, one of the easier ones to figure out. And the doctors were baffled as, as they smoked in her face. And they're like, uh-uh, you know? She's rude, I'll tell you that. Uh, My mom, my parents are getting older. So my mom, we had her go pick up our daughter recently at a friend's house, and I texted her the address. She drove to the wrong house. So she knocked on the door, and another grandmother answered. Well, this is not good. Uh, this is like two dogs seeing each other through a fence. <laughs> They're going to be there for a while, you know? So my mom, she knocks on the door. Uh, another grand, the grandmother, she could, and my mom goes, is my granddaughter in there? And that lady goes, I have three grandsons, so no solution. <laughs> just two grandmothers, just, do you have stuff? I have stuff, too. <laughs> they talk for 30 minutes. It's a wrong door. <laughs> I had to go get my daughter, then find my mom. <laughs> My dad, too, my dad's, you know, my dad has surgery eight times a year, probably, and he loves it, he loves it. Uh, he had surgery because uh, he was addicted to Afrin the nose spray. <laughs> look, I've been addicted to Afrin the nose spray. Uh, if you don't know what it is, I would honestly tell you not to get involved. It's one of the best things I've ever been part of. Uh, solves everything immediately. When I was on it too, my wife, was just, she'd be like, what's that noise? She'd hear one puff, what's that? I go, I ain't go live like this. I ain't worked this hard not to do effort in my own home. So my dad, my dad goes to the doctor and they were like, do you use Afrin? And he goes, no. And the doctor was like, like, I can see that you use it. I was just saying that. Uh, <laughs> He goes, how long have you been using it? My dad said five years, which is a lie. But my mom was there and she goes, uh, how about 45 years? <laughs> that's, how, that's how long he's used it, 45 years. The back of the box says no more than three days. <laughs> There's not a medicine on earth that tells you to give it a good 45 year run. That's why I get nervous as I get older, because I am already not smart, and I'm in my prime right now. I don't read, I don't read any books. I don't do it, and I, think, and I think that matters. I do think that matters. Reading, I believe, is the key to smart. That's what I've always said, and I don't do it, because every book is just the most words. It, it doesn't let up, I mean, Every page is more work. It's like, what are you talking about? Dude? Put some blank pages in there. Let me get my head above water for two seconds. I, I did. Thank, well, thank you. This is a reading joke. I'm, I like. I want to learn more about history because I don't know anything and. Uh, so I'm trying to figure it out. Like I, and I can tell I don't know anything about history because every history movie I watch, I watch on the edge of my seat. <laughs> Just, I mean, like what is gonna happen? You know, I don't know. I watched, I watched the movie Pearl Harbor and I was as surprised as they were. Just <laughs> crazy. All right, we've got a great show for you tonight. Foo Fighters are here, so stick around and we'll be right back. <laughs> 